morning, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, indeed, it is a good morning. Yeah, look at the beautiful sunshine that we got up here again. Yes, indeed. <clears throat> we are just cruising right along here. We got her up real early this morning. Well, as soon as our 10 hour break was over, anyways, and uh, took care of some business before that, and then. Uh, here we are, back on the road again, yeah, I'm going to try and get as many miles in as possible today, or at least, you know, until where we think we can no longer get parking or whatever, if it gets too late in the day, then, you know, you don't get no more parking, right, so, we might not drive super late tonight, so what we might do is just get up earlier tomorrow morning, and then go into where we deliver our load. But uh, yeah, that's the plan as of right now. We're going to be continuing on. Got us over 730 miles to go yet. So uh, we got our work cut out yet for, uh, for us to uh, be able to make it there tomorrow. Well, I want to be there tomorrow by lunchtime. No later than lunchtime. So that's the goal anyway. So we'll see what happens. Yes, indeed. That reminds me, I gotta make myself available yet to uh, to dispatch so that they know I'm gonna be available. That's right. So that way they can plan something for me. I ought to do that here pretty soon. We'll probably pull into a rest area here somewhere soon and then uh, we'll get that taken care of. That would be awesome. But yeah, let's continue on with our journey. Appreciate you guys tuning in today. Alrighty guys, we've been giving her for a while, so I figured, you know what? It's time to give you guys an update. Yeah. We are already in New York. Not New York City, but New York State. That's right. We just had us a little quick break. Took our half an hour off. And here we go again. Continue cruising along. Beautiful day out here. Yep. <clears throat> there was a lot of people there in that rest area. I tell you that much. Oh yeah. Still haven't gotten a reload offer yet, but. I'm thinking eventually we'll get us one. We'll get us a reload offer. And then we will know which way we're going after this. But yeah, we still have 485 more miles to go, so. We got us a long way to go yet. That's right. I'm gonna try and do a couple hours yet today of driving and then uh, we'll see where we can get a parking spot I know parking is very difficult further east up here I mean all you really have is like small rest areas and stuff like that not too many truck stops but uh, hopefully you can get us a parking spot somewhere safe and sound we're actually very close to Buffalo right now. I have a few subscribers that live up here in Buffalo area. Maybe not exactly directly in Buffalo, but very close to it anyways. One I think is on the further north side and the other one I think is right on the south side if, if I'm not mistaken. And I met up with one of them. The other one mentioned the other day that they are uh, from the north side of uh, Buffalo there, so they would love to meet up with me, but I don't know if I'll have time to stop in there today, though. I gotta get her going. Yeah. Pretty much just have to keep the wheels rolling so we can get in there for tomorrow at lunchtime at the latest, you know. 
Oh well, maybe another time. I do believe we also have somebody that subscribed to us from Pennsylvania. Don't remember exactly which area, but somewhere in Pennsylvania. But yeah, just cruising right along here, that's for sure. Well guys, as you can see, we are still cruising right along here. Yeah. I haven't stopped only one time, that's it. And I looked it up already, there's a TA a little bit further down the road yet, 100 miles to be Pacific. And I think we're gonna go to that TA truck stop and call it a day. That's the plan anyways as of right now. So that would leave me with about uh, 220, 230 miles left to do tomorrow. be at our delivery right so we'll be there for at least lunchtime I think looks like right now as of right now looks like we got five o'clock so about quarter to seven we should be at the uh, TA I would say unless we got some kind of backup on uh, until we get there but that's from what it looks like right now hopefully we can get us a parking spot there I know that one is usually pretty packed in there so we'll give it a try anyways and find out right but yeah that's why I said I ain't gonna drive too late today that's for sure because uh, I know there ain't too much parking in this area that's a fact So we'll see what we will be up to tomorrow. We still haven't gotten a reload offer yet. I have no clue what we will be doing tomorrow yet. I kind of was hoping that I would have a load offer by the end of today. And it's already two minutes away from four o'clock in the afternoon and still haven't gotten anything. So I guess we'll find out tomorrow if we get us a reload or not. I guess they're still working on it. That usually means they haven't gotten anything solid yet. Hopefully they will though by tomorrow when we are done unloading. So that way we know which way to go because I don't think there is too much around Boston where I deliver to, to park at. So we will have to get out of that area, that's a fact. But I am kind of suspecting that I either one of them that's going to be either I go to Quebec, pick up a load over there, or they're going to send me empty to Toronto. Unless they can find a load in Pennsylvania, there in Hazleton. I know we generally do haul loads out of there. Unless we can get lucky and get a load out of there. But other than that, that's kind of what I'm looking at. But then again, you never know. Every once in a while, they get a new contract somewhere. And we might get us a new load or a different load that we haven't done before. But yeah, that's the way we are right now. That's where we're standing at right now. We got a little bit of a rest area coming up here. but Most of these rest areas up here in uh, New York, they're not very big at all. They got maybe 20, 25 truck parking spots and that's it. I mean the ones there towards Buffalo, they are a little bit bigger, but especially the further east you go, the smaller they get. Let's take a look at this one here and see what this one has got. Doesn't look like they have a whole lot over here. Looks like a little bit of parking behind that uh, gas station there, but that's it. Just like I said, maybe 20 trucks, 25 trucks maybe. And that rest area would be full. I'm surprised that isn't fuller than what it is. But yeah, anyways. We'll continue on cruising along right here. We are still just giving her. Yes, indeed we are. We're only about six more miles to our exit. To go to the truck stop and uh, yeah, I'm a little worried about that truck stop getting filled up, but 
I guess we will have to find out, eh? No two ways about it. We're just gonna go there and I guess find out to see if that truck stop is filled up or not. But yeah, we only got uh, six more miles to our exit. Yes, indeed. And then we are almost through uh, New York and the northern part here. I think it's not too much after that, then uh, we start getting into Massachusetts. But we'll do that tomorrow, yeah. We just want to get to this truck stop early enough so we can get us at least a parking spot in there. That's our number one goal for right now. Yeah. I'm worried about it because on the East Coast here there is very little parking and I don't know that truck stop is always filling up early already so we'll see gets my heart pumping when you can't find a safe spot to park somewhere for the night you know when you I do have the hours and continue on for a little bit yet you know but I, I really want to stay there at that truck stop but we'll see what happens. It looks like we have found us a parking spot. Yeah, look at that, guys. We're parked right beside a truck there, right over here. I know that sun is probably blinding that camera, but yeah. There was this one spot right here, and we managed to get her in here. Yeah, are we happy or what? I'm telling you guys, I'm very happy that I got me a spot in here. Definitely, that's a fact. But anyways, we're gonna go go in the back there and edit some videos. So, uh, hey, we'll talk with you guys in a few. Well, guys, we have had us a very much needed shower. Yes, indeed. And we have uh, finished editing at least a couple of videos together for you guys. Yeah, now it's time to go to bed and get us a couple of hours of good sleep. Yeah, we want to get up early in the morning and then uh, go over and make our delivery, right? So we got about four hours of driving to do yet before we can do that. So uh, yeah, we wanna go to bed here very soon and uh, I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. If you did, don't forget to rate it up with a big thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. I don't care. <laughs> if you really liked it, go ahead and do me a favor, hit that share button down there. If you're new to our channel we would love to have you on board by hitting that subscribe button so if you did all of that thank you very much two thumbs up for me <laughs> yeah anyways have a good one everybody we'll catch you right here tomorrow morning on trucker rudy signing out behind me that day is gonna come